Hello. It's good to see you. Today, we are going to take a look at the second half of the items that I bought for the two girls on the angel tree that I picked out this year to shop for for Christmas. Um, I'll put a link in the description to the first half, which was whispered. Some people like whispered, some people like soft spoken. So I decided that we would just split it in half and I would do half one way and half the other. So this is the second half. There's also some stuff that we're not going to show in this video, but I'm going to show you in a separate video later of some stockings. I um, bought a couple of stockings for them and some little goodies to go in the stockings. So we're going to be doing the stockings separately. I have to tell you, I had so much fun shopping for these girls. I had such a great time picking out things on their lists and I really hope they like everything. Um, it's all anonymous. They'll never know who I am. I don't know who they are. Um, but it just, it just makes me so happy to be able to do this, to make two kids happy on Christmas. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the stuff that I didn't show you in the last video. Now I have everything here and we have to hurry because everything has to be wrapped and returned to the location of the angel tree by December 10th at the latest. So we we'll really have to get going on that. So we're going to get everything wrapped. It's going to be great. We're going to start with the stuff I have in my lap. I have some clothing items here. And these are things that I kind of picked out last minute. These were the last things I purchased. But they're things that I, I just thought they might like. The first thing, look at this hat. This hat is by Wonder Nation. It's just a little, a child size hat. And it has this beautiful white plush lining in it. I bet this hat is so warm. It's incredibly soft. Look at the pretty colors. It has these nice pink and purple pastels. And this like a, a fuchsia little fuzzy ball on the top. It's very cute. It's just the most adorable little hat. So I got this one, which is mainly, as you can see, it's kind of pinks and purples. And then this one, it, they're both the same size. But this one has some yellow in it. It's very pretty and a little bit of purple and pink. But it's a little bit more of a yellowish color than this one. But even just having them on my hands, they feel very warm. They are just, they're soft as a cloud. Oh my goodness. They are just so fluffy and fuzzy and soft. I love them. I want one of these. <laughs> I want like an adult size of one of these hats. They're really pretty and so thick and warm. Oh my goodness. So we got hats for them. And I figured what we would do is put them in a gift, like a little gift box to wrap, along with a pair of gloves. So I have these two pairs of gloves here. They're not, they're not like matching gloves. Um, I couldn't find a hat and glove set for kids. They were all separate. But I found these cute, look at these little gloves. They're, oh, they're, fr they're furry and fuzzy and nice and thick and soft. Oh my goodness. I think they have that tech touch here on the thumb and the index finger. That's what, I, that's why I think they look different. It's that, you know, so you can use, you know, you can use touch screens with them. I'm assuming that's what it is. But I have this pretty purple pair. And this one, this pair is kind of gray and white. Um, they're made the same. They're one size fits all. They're just a generic, like a child size. They're very stretchy, just like the hat. So they stretch to fit, you know, children's hands. So, I mean, yeah, they don't match, but I wanted to make sure to get a hat and a pair of gloves for each of them. They're sisters. They're 8 and 10 years old. So, I got them those. And then I found these outfits, and I, I got this little, like, an extra outfit for each kid. Because <laughs> I never get to shop for stuff like this. You know, I have two boys, and they're fun to shop for, but... You know, I never get to buy stuff like this. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, now these are for the 10 year old. It's a pair of Reebok sweatpants. They're just a basic, um, like a light pink color here. And they just have the little banded bottoms down at the ankles. And to go with that, I have a matching hoodie. Look at that. This part here is kind of a fuchsia color, so it's darker than the rest of the hoodie. But the, uh, the hoodie and the pants are a size 10-12, which I think is, I, that was the size typically that her clothing was listed as. And the pants have pockets, which is very handy. So we can put these together in a gift box and wrap these up for the 10 year old. And if they're a little bit too big, I actually think that's preferable. That way they can grow into it. Um, yeah, because I, I know when my kids were 8 and 10, they, they can grow really fast <laughs> during those years. And they outgrow things very quickly. Or mine did. Oh, and right on top of that, I have this, I have this set here. Now, this is something I ordered on Amazon for the 10 year old and all of this came together as a set. I have not looked at it yet, but we have this shirt and says this girl will change the world and this pretty sort of like a, like a glittered heart and sparkly and it comes with a matching uh, headband right here. It's got kind of a tie dye look to it. I like it. It's really cute. I would wear that. And this outfit set also came with a little pink skirt, which is very cute. It has little sparkly, shiny pink hearts on it. And the elastic waist is sort of a metallic, shiny look. Oh, I like it. It's very cute. And it also came with a pair of pants. They're very thin though. I was hoping they would be a little thicker than that. Um, if nothing else, maybe she can wear them like pajamas or something. But they, I really like the colors. I get these pretty pinks and purples and yellows and blues. But yeah, they're, they're a little thin. I was kind of disappointed that they were so thin. Um, but maybe she can wear them like pajama pants or something. And it also came with this t-shirt right here. And it has, it's like a, it's like a sleeping unicorn on the front of this white t-shirt. So yeah, all of those pieces came together. So I'm, we are going to fold all of these pieces and put them together in a box and wrap them like that. And then for the eight year old, now, for the eight-year-old, there was another outfit that I bought for her at Costco that I showed in the last video, so I won't be showing that here. Um, but I did find a little hoodie and pants outfit for her. Now, her favorite color is blue. I found a hoodie in a light blue, and it has the white Reebok logo on the front. Both of the hoodies for the girls has this nice kangaroo pocket in the front here, which comes in handy. It's a nice thick hoodie. I think this would be very nice and warm and it has this nice kind of a, like a soft fleece lining on the inside. And it's not just on the inside of the hood, it's also inside the whole hoodie here. So we have the light blue hoodie in a 7-8, which is what she wears and a pair of matching sweatpants to go with that, also in a 7-8. And again, just like the, the other outfit for the 10-year-old, we have these nice bands down here at the ankles, like that. And they also have pockets, which is great. So that is another one that we will wrap up. Now for the girls for wrapping their presents, um, I'm going to do an idea that someone suggested, and it's a great idea. 
wrap one child's presents all in one paper and the other presents in a different paper. So that way, um, you know, I'm going to label each present, but that way if a label comes off or something, the parents will know which present is for which child. And I will make a list of everything. You're supposed to provide a detailed list, like an inventory of all the presents for each child, for the parents. And I'm just going to put on there, the eight-year-old has presents in this paper, the ten-year-old has presents in this paper, that kind of thing, just to make it a little easier. And I haven't yet quite decided how to divvy up everything, because a lot of the things, they both wanted kind of the same sort of stuff. So I have to decide who gets what, but I'm going to make sure to, to keep it as even as possible so you don't have one getting more than the other. Okay. I also picked up some uh, underwear and socks for the girls. I've got these LOL Surprise Briefs for the eight-year-old. It's seven pairs. You have a whole week's worth here, and they're all different. Look at the pretty colors. They both love LOL Surprise and the movie Frozen. So I found some LOL Surprise Briefs for the eight-year-old. Um, and for the ten-year-old, um, I thought these were cool. You know, these are just, these are Hanes briefs, but they come in these fun colors. This is a pack of 10. This is the way they came. It said that they're softer than ever and have a fashion waistband. I like all the colors. I would have liked these when I was 10 years old. I like the tie-dye ones. These are cool. So, yeah, this pack came with 10 pairs, so I got those. I didn't have a lot of um, there weren't as many choices for the for the older child, like the larger size underwear. They didn't have as many choices. Um, I also got socks. I picked out a package of low-cut socks for the 8-year-old here. And I also got a pack for the older girl. These are both Reebok socks. And I know it's it's colder weather, and I, but every kid I know including my kids and their friends, they, they wear these socks year-round. They don't like wearing warm socks. Evie wants in. Evie always wants to come in and hang out with me, so she's walking around and bumping the tripod. She comes in here and hangs out with me a lot at night. So anyway, I know it seems weird to buy low-cut socks for the kids. You know, we're going into colder weather, but if she's anything like my kids and every kid I know, they wear these things year-round. My kids do. Their friends do. They love these ankle socks. It's crazy. So, anyway. Two packs of socks. Each pack contains six pairs of socks. And they should fit um, based on the shoe sizes that I have for the girls. Now that, I think, I think that's everything for clothing. I did show uh, some clothing in the other video. I do have a pair of shoes. We haven't gotten to those yet. Now for these items, I'm not sure who's going to get what for everything yet. We're going to work that out. The back of it appears to have had tape on it at some point. I found this cute little LOL Surprise stationery set. I got this on Amazon. It's very cute. It comes with paper clips, pencils, a spiral notepad, a little pencil pouch, a ruler, little erasers, highlighters, ballpoint pen, and a surprise bonus sticker. So I thought this was really cute. It's just a nice little kit of little stationary items from LOL Surprise. And I didn't know anything about LOL Surprise before I started this endeavor. There's a cat behind me. I have discovered, though, that you can get practically anything in LOL Surprise. I mean, it's, it's amazing. I did find LOL Surprise wrapping paper at Target. So I'm going to wrap one child's presents in LOL Surprise wrapping paper. And one of them I'm going to, uh, I'm going to wrap her presents in the, f I have some frozen wrapping paper. Not literally frozen, but like 
from the movie Frozen. And it's primarily blue, so maybe I'll use the blue paper for the eight-year-old since her favorite color is blue. And I'll use the LOL surprise paper for the older girl. But we do have this nice little stationery set here. Evie is trying to get in my lap, which would be interesting. Um, the younger girl did ask for some animal facts books. So I found this fascinating animal book for kids with 500 wild facts. This also came from Amazon. It's a very cool book and I know my kids loved stuff like this when they were little. Oh, they love, they love these kind of books. So I have this fascinating animal book. It's a nice hardcover book and it talks about all sorts of different animals. Also from Amazon, I picked up a Frozen Ultimate sticker book. It's very cool. And most of the, I looked at some of the Frozen books, but they were mostly for younger kids, you know, like five and under. So, but I thought a sticker book would be fun no matter what age you are. So, somebody's going to get a sticker book. And that uncovers the shoes. Now, these I got on Amazon. I personally would wear these shoes if I could. They are so cool. They don't come in my size. Um, these, now, I showed you the shoes in the last video for the younger sister. Um, these, I, I was in a shoe carnival when I found the shoes for the younger girl. But I didn't really find anything for the older girl that... I thought she would like um, so I went I went on Amazon and I found this pair I love these this is some aggressively loud tissue paper look at these I love these shoes oh my word I might be able to find these in my size but I thought these were so pretty they are Skechers machine washable tie-dyed shoes. Aren't they cool? My goodness. I love these shoes. They are so groovy. Now, I have a pair of Brooks uh, uh, sh athletic shoes that are kind of like this, and I really love them. But these just have slightly different colors in them, and I like these too. <laughs> but I have to keep reminding myself, I don't need any more shoes. I don't. I have too many shoes. I'm like Imelda Marcos. I have too many shoes. I'm good, but I keep finding more. So these are the shoes for the 10-year-old right here. I think they're really neat. They are so colorful, so much fun. <laughs> I really hope they like everything. I mean, we'll never know, but I just... I really hope they like everything. I had so much fun shopping for this stuff. I mean, it, it was a blast. I look forward to doing this every year. Okay, so that is um, the older girl's shoes, uh, Skechers with memory foam. I think they're cool. And I hope that she will like them, although I've kind of run into a, a something that made me kind of sad so I went by the place where the angel tree is um I went by there yesterday not to drop anything off but I just happened to be there and it was sad to see how many angels were still left on the tree there were a lot left I mean it just made me really sad to think that you know there were so many kids on there that are not going to get anything at least from the angel tree project they're not and it just made me really sad, and I just, I wish I could do more. I really wish I could do more. Um, it's, it's something to think about over the next year, but there were so many left. It made me sad. It really made me sad. Um, I would have taken every one of those angels off the tree and gotten them something if I could have. My goodness, it just makes me sad. But at least for two of those girl, two of those kids on the angel tree, I think we're going to make them happy. I'm trying. So I also got, I think these came from Amazon. 
I ordered these little LOL surprise little capsules. I don't know what they are. It's kind of like if you've ever had to take a, a, a calcium tablet. This is about how big they feel when you're trying to swallow them. I take Citrical every day and I swear sometimes these the Citrical tablets feel like they're this big. Oh, okay, so this one is called LOL Surprise Confetti Reveal, and it contains a surprise doll with a winter chill theme to it, and it's quite heavy, I have to say. This one is LOL Surprise Confetti Under Wraps Re-Released. I don't know if that's, I guess that's a good thing, I don't know, but each of the girls is going to get one of these little, little things. This one has blue on it. I don't want to just focus on blue, but I know that the eight-year-old likes blue. So I tend to think that the blue stuff should be hers, but that doesn't mean that everything in there is blue. Actually, it's mainly only the warning labels that are blue, so maybe I shouldn't focus on that so much. Um, oh, back here I have a thing. Evie is sleeping. I'm going to try not to disturb her. She's all curled up like a little cinnamon roll on the floor. I was in Walmart when I was looking at hats and gloves for the girls and um, my younger son saw the red, they had the Red Rider BB guns for, like from the movie A Christmas Story in a display back kind of in the back and he wanted to show me and walking back there I saw these pillows and I just thought we should get them each a pillow so I did. Is this not just the most fun looking pillow you ever saw? It's an Imaginarium fun pillow. It's made of memory foam. This is a standard 16 inch by 24 inch pillow. And it has a cool to the touch cover, which is so nice. Um, I don't, I don't know if they need a pillow or not. I don't know, but they're going to get a pillow. So I got this pink one. I thought about just getting two pink ones, but I want them to be able to tell them apart. So I got the pink, this pink one. And I got a blue one too. Look at, I really like this blue one. <laughs> This is an awesome pillow. So there's nothing like a good pillow, I'm telling you. And I love memory foam pillows. My pillow is a memory foam pillow. It's um the one I use is um it's like a bamboo aloe infused memory foam pillow. It's the best. Oh my goodness. You know where I found them? At Goodwill. They were they had them there new. I can't remember what brand it is best pillow ever and they were like $20 each. I bought several extras to, to have so I have like three or four more up in the attic. I, there's, there is nothing like a good pillow. I'd give the girls one of those but I think they would prefer something like this that's a little more fun. See it says it's a fun pillow and who am I to doubt Imaginarium whoever that is. They act like they really mean it and it's splashed with different colored paint on here. So you know it's good. This one is also a standard 16 by 24 inch pillow. Oh, it has green piping around it. Look at that. The pink one has black piping around it. It's just a nice little detail on the edge. I'm almost concerned that I don't have enough wrapping paper. <laughs> And the thing was, I bought the only two rolls of LOL Surprise wrapping paper that they had. I'll work it out somehow. Okay, now let me see. One of them likes mini brands. So on Amazon, I found this double pack. You get two balls of mini brands. Mini brands, I guess, are just tiny things. 60 plus mini brands to collect. Can you find the rare and super rare minis? 
Well, I wouldn't know if you put one right in front of my face if it was rare or super rare, so I don't know. Oh, look, it's like a little shopping cart. I guess maybe you get a mini shopping cart. Oh, you can get mini moon pies and spam and chupa chups. Oh my goodness, Smarties. So it's like little food or something. I don't know anything about this stuff. This is not something my kids ever cared about. I think this came along a bit after they were at the age where this would appeal to them. They even have little little jars of Skippy. Isn't that cute? I kind of want one now. I want to see what's in it. But I can't. This is not mine. That belongs to a child. I will not be opening that. And this also came from Amazon. Um, this is LOL BTW B Tweens. It is a tween fashion doll from series one. And it says Cherry BB on it. We have these cute little girls on the back. <laughs> it's very cute. Comes with a fashion and accessories, a bedroom playset package. With 15 surprises. Wow. I think the 10 year old liked the, um, some OMG stuff. I don't know. This is not OMG. There are too many initials and too many of those for these. I don't know what's what. But I thought it looked cute and it was LOL surprise. So one of them will be getting this little set here. Oh, and this I actually found at Walmart. This may be something that they they share. I, I don't know. But this is an LOL Surprise 18-piece nail set. Look, you get all kinds of nail polish in here. Little toe separators. Little nail stickers. Oh, it's so cute. And this is non-toxic, peelable nail polish in this set. They had um, LOL Surprise sets like this. Um... I think they had Disney princesses, Frozen. I just got this one right here. Um, and these were in the section, the seasonal section with like the bath sets and the spa sets and you know like the little prepackaged kits that you can get to give people. It was in that section. This was $10 for this 18 piece nail set. And this may be something that I wrap up to give both of them. Maybe I'll go with like a third uh, gift wrap, a third type of wrapping paper. Because I do have three, at least three presents that are going to be like for both of them. This might be something for that they can share. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe that will be for both of them. But I also have, okay, now I'm going to show you the, the things that I got for both of them to share. The first one is this. It's heavy. One of the things the parents asked for was a dollhouse that the girls could share. Now this one I found on um, Amazon. It's called A Pretty Dollhouse. Welcome to my house. And it looks really nice, and it even comes with furniture and stuff. It comes with furniture for each room. You even get a toilet and a bathtub. And I don't know what all. It contains all these pieces of furniture in here. And you can use it for different types of dolls. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I think it actually it's come with the doll. I haven't opened it. I don't know. But this is going to be something that will go to both of the girls. So this will be something for the two of them. Um, I really wish I could have gotten the LOL surprise dollhouse, but it was $200. So I, I had to, I had to get one. This one was 70. This one, I think it was 70. So, but yeah, the LOL surprise one was really cool, but it was like $200. So I did not get that one, but I did get this. This is also for both of them. I bought the LOL Dance Machine. It is a 
a car, but it's not just a car. It's also a pool and a dance floor. Look at this. Isn't this cool? So you can use it as a car and a pool and a dance floor. Probably not all at the same time unless you're in Vegas and then it's probably okay. It has black light headlights and it even comes with an exclusive doll right there. This box is very big. But yeah, I thought I just thought this was really cool. Um, but yeah, it's a surprise pool and a dance floor um, and a doll. And I think in, in all the stuff I bought them, I think they're all going to get at least one doll each, an LOL surprise doll. And I even remember to include batteries. I, I picked up a pack. It takes uh, AAA batteries. So I made sure to pick up a package of batteries um, that I'm going to wrap. You know, I'm going to attach it to the box somehow. And, um, should I do that? I guess I'll just attach it to the box and include it when I wrap it up so it's it's right there with the car. So I, I guess it's for the headlights. I don't know what else the batteries do. But I made sure to find out what kind of batteries it took and get some. Okay, so this, the car and the dollhouse and the nail polish set will all be wrapped in separate paper I'll just, I have tons of paper. I'll just pick another design for that stuff. Now, um, so like I said, I do have stocking stuff. That's separate. I'm going to show you everything for their stockings in a separate video. Um, now for the parents, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put together in a separate bag for them some bows for the presents in case they need some bows I'm going to send them a bag of bows there are some really pretty ones in here we have some pretty holographic ones red and green and silver these are from Merry Moments I picked these up at Aldi the other day so we have five different sizes of bows and they have strong adhesive on the back so you don't need any tape you just peel the backing off and stick it on the present. Now, I will not be putting bows on any of these presents um, because they're going to be stacked and moved around. They're going to be transported to the, lo the facility and then the parents have to transport it home. So I'm not even going to try to put bows on there. I don't want anybody to have to worry about that. I also picked up some gift tags. Um... Where did I get? Oh, I think these actually came from Dollar Tree. But these are adhesive gift tags. There are a hundred gift tags in here, so there should be plenty left over for next year. Happy little gift tags so they can label the presents for the for the girls. And I just thought these were really cute. I like the little polar bear. He's really cute. So the bows and the gift tags are going uh, to the parents. And I also picked these up. These are, um, they're labeled as bike bags. They're just giant uh, bags. I got two in this design with the blue and the snowflakes. These bags are massive. They are 60 inches by 72 inches. I got two blue ones. And I got two with candy canes on them. That way, um, hopefully a lot of the girls' presents will fit. Like two, you know, one child's presents will go in these two. One's child, one child's presents will go in the other two. I thought it might make it easier for the parents to transport everything if, you know, the presents were in bags so they don't have to try to carry everything loosely um, and it will make it easier for me to get them inside the facility too so yeah so I'm trying to think of things that the parents um, might make things a little easier for them so batteries bows 
labels and some bags to transport everything. Um, yeah, and then I'm going to have stockings too. But I have to make an inventory of everything and who gets what. So I'm going to do that. And then tomorrow we're going to start wrapping presents. Now I'm going to do two, at least two separate videos wrapping presents. And just like I did with the presentation of the gifts, I'll do one whispered and one soft spoken. Because some people like one, some people like the other. And uh, we're going to start wrapping presents. I am so excited. I, I love doing this. I, I had so much fun getting everything together and shopping for things. And oh, it's just, it's exciting. I, I'm, I'm tickled to death to be able to do this for them. So tomorrow we start wrapping presents so I can get everything done and squared away. And I can get everything dropped off before the 10th. So, yay. I cannot wait. I, I really hope they like everything. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed seeing the second half of everything that I got for the girls for Christmas. I hope you have a wonderful day and come back tomorrow and we will start wrapping presents.